just a quick update this is wrench or the demo of wrench uh, I, I was over there and I had to build a let's just if I, if I do that show you what I built it was just some suspension arm or something you have to put the bolts in and you have to tighten them up with a torque wrench to the right torque and all of that and you got you do a little practice thing to do um bolts and then it said oh and go over to the engine section so i've got to assemble an entire engine literally nut bolt and washer so we're doing the main bearings at the moment i've just put the 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 like the linings in the engines and in, in the bearing tops or whatever they're called and i'm just gonna put them I'm glad you don't have to hold hold the weight of the bloody engine up that'd be ridiculous so there's that and now we've got to put these bolts in and you get a thing called a part scanner which you can zap and it tells you main bearing cap bolts ah and we've got to put them these 57 newton meters on the torque wrench start with the center cap and work outwards before completing each tightening stage so we've got to do this in the right order as well okay oh there we go let's pick two up at a time it's a little bit weird to use but once you get the hang of it oh that one for there then sort of intuitive and of course you can always move the part which is which is great there we go so now we need our torque wrench and i think we're going to need the big one no, the middle one rather this one and it's a runner so you can forwards or reverse you can set the the newtons that you need which we said was foot 57 And it's also a driver as well, an elect, uh, electric driver. So this is, that's going in, and I need to, right, so we've got to do it from the centre. So we've got to put that back on forwards. I'm only going to just loosely tighten them up. Nice not having to find the right bloody socket for everything. What's clever, let's just put that there. I'm pretty sure we're assembling this left to right. Because the very last thing we've got over there is oil and like the head gasket and the um head gasket top. Oh, excuse me, itchy nose. Right. So we need to Right, that is there you go so there's loads of feedback when you as you tighten that up obviously it stops moving as much but in the hand controller because this is oculus home uh, oculus rift you can feel it vibrating in your hand like it's uh oh you know what i did i tightened up the outside one didn't i what a bell end there we go right so we're going to tighten these up so that works fine. Oh, there we go. Right, so that's a bit tight. That's very tight. It's vibrating. Click. That's done. There we go. And we'll work our way outwards. There we go. Oh, 
think you can hear that. That's the um, that's the what's it uh, vibration motor in the controller. Last one. Done. Uh, get your details. So let's. So we've got to put these on now. So let's shifty down here, and we'll bring our engine with us. We'll put our what's it over there in our tablet there. Get detailed. Uh, da, 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 da. Finish the assembly phase by installing the rear main seal plate and oil plump. Right, plump oil pump. So what we do is we get our parts scanner up and we say, what am I supposed to do with that? That goes on the back of the pump. And then the pump goes somewhere. Well, I guess we've got to put that on it as well, with that in it. Right. So let's see if if we can. Did I just drop the scanner? No. Oh, it's there. Oh, shit. Right, so, you can take that. Take that. Does that? Yes. Right, that goes in there. Then, that goes on. It needs to be the other side of the engine. There we go. Oop, didn't want that. Put the oil pan back down. Yep. That's that. And then this, no, maybe, does it go on that way? Look at the holes, Matt, that'll be a dead giveaway. No. Oh. Oh, okay, I got that the wrong way up, but there you go. So that's why that wasn't, shit. That's why that wasn't going on there. Still not right. Prerequisite. Oil pump. Install the crankshaft before installing the oil pump. Yeah, I know, I'm not... There's a little fiddly bit. <sighs> Nothing I. Install the gasket onto the oil pump before installing. Done. Oh, it's your nose. See? That. Oh, hang on. No. Don't, don't break my engine. Oh, there we go. Wrong end of the, well, hang on. All right. Right. Let's find out what I, oh, hang on. I haven't put the piddlies in. Right. One, two, three, four. At least you can't drop the bolts down inside. That would be a bloody nightmare, wouldn't it? Um, ratchet. I'm going to go for the tiddler. And it doesn't say what these need to be down to, so... Put them to 15. Now that I've done them to 15, I'm going to check. Uh, is there a... I should be able to... 
Um, install info M6 I don't want to replace it uh, looks like I've got all that on there engine seal so Because right, on the other side, okay. Ah, now we got long and short bolts. <clears throat> M eight, M eight. So. On there, on there, oh, I'm on there. Right, for this, we'll use the bad boy. Oh. Fastener. A replacement is waiting for you at the part spawning pad. Where is the part spawning pad? Oh, there. Right. Okay, so it isn't 50 doodad newton meters. Uh... Let's okay. Oh, shit off. Did I have to make you jump when that happens? Right. That's that. What's left? I only need the two of these bolts then. That one. And that one. Oh. I thought that was oil. I don't know what that was actually. Oil or something. So again, I don't think. That's meant to be quite as talked up. Right. Okay. So it didn't highlight that bolt, but I'm pretty sure that we need to actually... Oh, there we go. See? Nope, don't undo that one. Okay. Next. Slide the piston and rod assemblies into the block from above. A piston ring compressor will automatically spawn at each cylinder. Install the rod caps and tighten the rod nuts with precision. The rod nuts are the most important fastener in the engine.
Oh, didn't want to take the piston ring off. Okay. Now I need me part scanner. Right, so we'll do do some of this assembly on. Come on. Right. So I'm pretty sure. Get the scanner out of the way. Well, that's handy. Didn't think you could do that. And that. So. Oh. Right, and then okay. Oh, didn't want to take that out. Okay, gotcha. Does it say? <clears throat> Install the rod caps and tighten the rod nuts with precision. The rod nuts are the most important fastener in the engine. Right, so we know those are the rod nuts. So we need to find out what we need to talk them to. Talk in three stages to a final torque of 50 newton meters plus or minus 2%. Okay. <clears throat> Right, fifty. Right, so click. Right. <clears throat> install the windage tray, oil pickup, and remaining oil seals before installing the oil pan. Also install the oil cooler, oil filter, oil drain plug, and dipstick to complete this phase. Right, so it's all the oily stuff. Hooray! I need that windage tray. Okay. <clears throat> so the windage tray, oil pickup, and remaining oil seals before installing the oil pan. There's engine seals. So, call it oil filter, oil drain plug. Oh, there's loads going on here. Scanner. Okie doke, right. Yep. 
Is there a front and a back one? Yes, there is. And that's why they're two different sizes. Which makes perfect sense. Right. What's left to put in? Can we put the oil cooler in yet? Nope. What about the oil filter? No, I think I've got more to do. <clears throat> oil drain plug and dipstick. Oil filter, oil drain plug. Right. Thirty Newton meters. Oil cool or not? Oh, that's got a. Ah, oh, that's that little seal that we saw from earlier. Okay. Do you think I've got to put the oil pan on? I've got to put the oil pan on next. It's looking like a bloody engine now. There's the oil pan bolts. Don't need those yet, I don't think. Although I probably should. Um, oil drain bolt. That's that bit there. Thirty. Okay. I think left up that end of the table. <clears throat> I think that. Oh, I didn't mean to take that off. Let's put that there. Right, so I think that now, because we've put the. Where's that gone? Oh, it was under the. Was it under the oil pan? It was under the bloody oil pan. Right, so <clears throat> Lang on. That definitely oh. That doesn't screw in there, okay. Use oh, that's no torque scanner thingy. Okay. Right, we've got loads of bolts to put in. Oil pan. Oil cooler. Let's. Right, so we can assemble this as we go. So that. Right, that goes over a bolt. That goes nut down and the filter goes on it. So that is that, I think. 
There we go. And then we will just check our 40. Uh, that one. Brilliant. Oil filter. Bosch. Uh, oil pan now, I think. And then we need one of these whapping bolts. No. No. Let's find out where. 10 newton meters, but it doesn't say where. Oh, there we go. And it said 10, didn't it? Okay. And then to oh there's lots of them so okay let's turn the engine right see now you do that in real life and all the bloody bolts would fall out and disappear. I've got to say, this is absolutely magnificent as a VR experience. Didn't they give you two extras because you, you lose them all the time? Um, oil pan long bolts, yeah, we know about that. But what about these? Oh, it doesn't say. So I'm just going to do 15. Okay. I haven't put a bloody bolt in there, that's why. Did we not? I don't think I meant to put that one in there. Oh, I haven't put them in half of these. Oh. Let's put them there. Can you imagine trying to do that for real? You'd have, you got absolutely no motion on the one set. So, okay, so there was definitely two that were left over. So we've got to put them back so we don't lose them. Yeah, collision detection on the torque wrench. That would be uh, like hard mode.
I guess there are not many parts left, but oh, I've just seen where them bolts go. All right, I'm pretty sure they go in there and in there. It's like a giant Lego kit for grown-ups, only in VR. I'm not like getting my hands dirty and my knuckles scraped up. What have we got left to use? Nothing. Oh! Oil level dipstick. Where's this go? Oh, thanks, mate. Don't tell me that's got to be inside the oil pan, please. Is it getting somewhere? Does it not come off? No, no. There's a. Oop. Oh. There's a screw there, that's where that goes. Punch here, cutaway toggle. Hmm. You'd think it'd be near the You think it'd be near there. Why won't it show me what I need to do though? Do I have to put oil level? Right. that comes up at the engine, doesn't it? Oh, I haven't done a nut up there. That's the bottom of the engine. That's going to take some more investigations, I think. But so far, it's amazing. Oh, look in this. Shake all the bits out. It's absolutely amazing. Sponsored by Castrol Edge. Dodgy shaped belt there. Not saying anything. Right then, add us on the postcard where this goes. You watch, I'll find it out as soon as I uh, stop recording. What the hey? Put that down so it doesn't crash. So there you go. Bye.